Hi everyone and welcome to Home Arena Collectibles where today I'm going to be showing you my biggest ever eBay haul. So I've made a few eBay haul videos and basically in these videos I show you what I've got over the past month or two or whatever depending on however many figures I got. I like to just collect them all together and show you in one big video just so that you know what I've got coming up because they are often older figures so you know I can't really just go ahead and show you an unboxing of like you know brand new Marvel Legends or something because a lot of these are older ones. But nonetheless, we do have some newer stuff here too. As you can see at the front here with Star Wars Black Series. So we have some older Marvel Legends. We have uh, even some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I also have some TMNT stuff, which I'm going to show you, which there's so much that I can't, you know, put it all in the screen right here. But there is actually a lot more to show you than what I have on screen. So stay tuned. This is going to be my most exciting eBay haul video yet. So if you like any of this stuff, I will be reviewing the majority of it. So just let me know what you want to see first and I'll go ahead and do that for you. So I'm actually super excited about every single item that I have that I'm going to be showing you today. Really, really amazing. I actually can't believe that I own now a lot of the stuff that you see in front of you. Uh, you know, I didn't think that I'd be able to, you know, find them on eBay or find them for good prices or whatever, but I have done and they, yeah. Uh, uh, you know help fill out my collection in so many ways I am so excited if you can't already tell so I'm going to start this off with something that is very special to my childhood it's actually something that I never owned as a kid and I really really wanted and uh, basically with the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Legend of the Duelist game that's out I've gotten really back into Yu-Gi-Oh! I've started you know sorting out my decks and like splitting them up into their several starter packs and stuff and like the ones that I got them in and stuff um, as you can see I've got a couple of box sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! right here but I also picked up this. This is the 96 uh, Battle City Dual Disc. It's the original Dual Disc. It's all in working order. Uh, I'll show it a bit more closely in a uh, review of it, I guess, if you want to see it. Uh, just because I've got everything else on the table here, I can't really, you know, comprehensively show it you right now. But it's all in working order, and it's just so fantastic. It, it looks awesome when it's on. It's a great cosplay item. Uh, you can also obviously use it for jewels. I'm just got it for a display. I might actually refurb it a little bit because there's a few scratches and stuff. I've got to clean it up. It's pretty dusty, but uh, it's just absolutely fantastic. And like I said, I couldn't have one as a kid, so it's awesome that I get one now. And that's actually the main reason that got me into uh, collecting. Uh, basically, I was really into Transformers as a kid, so pretty much the start of my collection, I started. Uh, you know, watching reviews on YouTube, you know, watching Optobonimus and Sean Long and stuff there, Transformers uh, reviews, and then it just snowballed from there. Obviously, I started to see what kind of new Transformers were coming out, like in the Generations and Universe and all that kind of stuff, and uh, collecting that stuff. Then, obviously, that led on to, you know, what Marvel figures are out now, and then uh, I found out about Marvel Legends, carried on from there, and then, you know, snowballed, I thought, hey, I could actually do reviews like these guys, because I thought, hey, you know, why not, if I'm collecting them all, why not just do reviews myself, and I thought that some reviews that I was watching, I could do a better job, or if not, as good as them, so I just did it, and here we are today. And that's why I love doing these eBay haul videos, because a lot of them are older figures, so maybe they influence a lot of you guys in the same way that they do for me. To carry on with the theme of Yu-Gi-Oh! Some other cards that I didn't have as part of my collection. Uh, here we have two of the three uh, Legendary God cards. Uh, these are from the uh, Game Boy uh, promos. So these ones, you could use them in a duel back in the day. that You can't now, uh, but you could actually use these in a duel before they were Championship Legal. So they are the GBI and then 003. And here we have 001. Uh, I am trying to track down Obelisk of those just to complete that set. Uh, and then here we have the five uh, parts that form the uh, Forbidden One. So really, really awesome to finally have the Exodia cards. Just something that I've always wanted. I did have uh, a couple. Uh, I think I had the uh, right leg and left arm. But they may or may not have been fake, so I can't really remember to be honest. But now I have the whole set, and that is really, really cool. Also with Yu-Gi-Oh! we have the uh, Legendary Collection. So here we have the first Legendary Collection. This is the Game Board Edition. So it comes with uh, those three God cards, and then it also comes uh, with Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, and the Red Eyes, Black Dragon. So that's really, really cool. Here are the booster packs, the uh, original most famous packs. So can't wait to open those. Uh, it's just an absolutely fantastic set. Like I said, it's the game board edition. You could also get a binder set. I just think if anyone is a fan uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or maybe you're getting back into it because of the new game, then these two Legendary Collections are the two that you definitely need to pick up. This one here is the Legendary Collection number 3, Yu-Gi's World. 
And this is the reason why you need to get it if you're a fan of the original series. The uh, Seal of Orichalco is just absolutely awesome. Here's some of the cards you get in here. I'm not really a big fan of like newer rules with like tokens and all that stuff. I just like the original stuff. But uh, you know, everything in here, like all the original cards and everything, is just absolutely awesome. So now moving on to Star Wars The Black Series. Here we have the Han in the Stormtrooper uniform and then here we have uh, the uh, Luke Skywalker in it too so two figures that are really really cool everything here has all the accessories in terms of the Star Wars stuff so uh, very very cool so there's those two we have Commander Cody he also comes with the larger rifle which I just didn't uh, you know move onto the desk for this because it didn't really matter but very very cool new release and then we have the Emperor himself Lucidius, absolutely awesome. Uh, kind of disappointed in this figure that, you know, they gave Yoda his lightsaber so you could have Episode 3 Yoda and then the original trilogy Yoda as well. Whereas with this guy, they've only given him the walking stick. They haven't given him a lightsaber. Very disappointed in that, but nonetheless, an absolutely fantastic figure and one of the best from the line. And then we have from Wave 1, the uh, Sand Trooper, which is really, really awesome with the orange pauldron, so he's the commander version. Uh, just really really cool. I do have the regular version of it with the black pauldron So it's awesome to have this guy. I mean he's from wave one. Why not get it? And then something at the back which is absolutely fantastic I've been trying to track down a Darth Maul ever since he went up in price I was actually holding off on buying him when he was around about 20 25 pounds which is just above retail price really when they came out and uh, I just kept putting it off putting it off because I was getting you know lots of ways of Marvel Legends and this that and the other uh, and then all of a sudden they were just nowhere to be found and they were sold at about 60 pounds everywhere uh, you know Amazon and eBay and everything just couldn't get a hold of one for a decent price anymore and then I came across this and it's only actually I only got it for a little bit more than that and it was actually signed uh, at a Comic Con by Ray Park himself and there is the uh, picture of him signing this box and then there's also his name was spelt wrong because it's Ray Park and they put Ray Parks, but it is actually a certificate of authenticity from uh, Cardiff uh, Comic Con, so that is pretty cool uh, in March earlier this year. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously there's going to be more out there like this of him signing it. In fact, this picture uh, blown up because the picture that they actually showed on eBay was actually a few more boxes underneath here, like the original picture that they took before they got it printed out uh, as that photo. Um, but it's just an awesome thing to have and what's even better is the fact that it is actually open because the seal was already taken off the uh, sellotape means that I don't have any problem in opening this guy up and doing a review and having him on display because you know I, it doesn't hurt my conscience in actually opening this up because the box isn't in the best condition you know it's got a bit of wear on the top and stuff but uh, yeah so a really really awesome thing to add to the collection and it's also my favourite Star Wars character, so really, really awesome that I actually got it signed by him. Even though it wasn't actually me that was there, it's something really, really awesome to have. And it'd be pretty cool to meet him someday. Moving on to Marvel Legends, not only what you see there, but there's all of these guys. So this is the entire Mojo wave. We have Luke Cage, Psylocke, we have Falcon right here, and then we have uh, Baron Zemo, and then we have Longshot. Basically, uh, there's also the first appearance Iron Man, um, but I already had that figure. Um, I was looking for one for my brother because he wanted it as well. Now, I got that figure for £12. I actually got all these guys and a first appearance Iron Man, which now my brother has, obviously, otherwise he would be here, um, for something like £16 or maybe 20 or something, including shipping. So, an absolutely fantastic deal. So, when I saw that, obviously, I could have got others for cheaper, but the fact that I got the entire wave for that price meant that it was just fantastic. I couldn't pass it up, and then I can do real quick reviews on all these guys. So, they're complete with accessories and stuff, but they did not come with the Builder Figure parts. I don't really care because I don't really care too much about Mojo. But anyway, carrying on from one seller in two different lots, I had the uh, Hobgoblin, which is a Spider Man Classics Hobgoblin. And then uh, in a later lot, I actually got the uh, Green Goblin right here, this uh, Ghost Rider, the Johnny Blaze version, and also Yellow Jacket right here, which I've been looking for for quite some time. So this is the gold version variant. So there's actually barely any videos online of this version because people just say it's crap. Um, and when looking for an actual comparison to see which one I would prefer, there's barely any decent camera photos or you know videos of it to actually compare the two. 
so basically, here you go. I will try and probably get the yellow version at some point too, but that is a bright yellow. Uh, people say that this version is like really, really orange and stuff. Well, it's not. It's just got a slightly more kind of goldy orange tint to it, but it's not orange at all. It is still a goldy yellow colour, and it looks absolutely fantastic. And then we actually have the gold... A uh, little antenna right here, which I do prefer than the yellow one. So the the proper yellow one is more of a kind of first appearance, you know, like a very classic version of it. And then this one's more of a kind of 2000s yellow jacket. Uh, so really, really cool figure. Really happy to have it. So just taking a closer look around here. So we have the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. I do prefer it without this piece on it. Uh, like I say, I will be doing reviews of all these guys, so you will get a closer look. Obviously, it's awesome to have this now with the new one coming out. I can do a comparison with a bunch of Ghost Riders. Uh, here we have the uh, Danny Ketch one, which is really, really cool. Again, I do actually prefer the Johnny Blaze one over this guy. And in fact, I prefer the movie one over all. I actually think that that is the best Ghost Rider. Um, you know, people do tend to prefer this guy more. I don't like the riding position on the bike, but I do love the bike and do love the figure itself. I mean, that head sculpt is really cool, but I do just prefer the translucentness of uh, the flame effects on other Ghost Riders. Now, this one is so fantastic. So this is the set that came with the bike. There was other movie figures that came with a chain and, you know, they were sold separately and stuff. Really cool that lit up as well. But this guy is absolutely fantastic. You have a button, which is down here, which revs and lights up the bike, really cool. Or, there's a magnet in the hand, and just like in the comics, in the movie, when you put the hand on the gas tank, if I can do it without him falling off, it has the same effect. It triggers the lights and sound, which is absolutely awesome, and why I think that this is the best Ghost Rider out there. Plus, the bike is massive and heavily detailed and awesome. I was originally going to repaint this and maybe put more of a dark wash in there and whatnot. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it now or not, because it does look cool in hand. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm thinking about it, but you know, maybe, maybe not. And this guy right here came with the Giant Blaze one. Now, uh, unfortunately, does not come with his bike. So I will be trying to track one of those down. They're not, you know, the super cheapest thing. Like the bike is the price of a figure these days. So I need to try and find it in uh, a bundle. Um, I'm not going to put him on display until I have the bike because really there's no point. But, you know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, Vengeance isn't a super popular character in terms of, you know, the broader universe of things. So I don't really care too much about not having him on display. But with the bike, he'll look really awesome next to Ghost Rider. And then we have Mysterio, which is uh, another really awesome figure, which I actually tried to get from the seller that I got the Hobgoblin and the Danny Ketch and so on from, but unfortunately I missed out on that bid, so then I found another one and I ended up going him about a couple of pounds cheaper. So that was really, really cool. You can, by pressing in this button on the back, flip the heads round, so there's multiple heads in there. And if you have a battery, there's a little LED that lights up as you do it too. So uh, a really cool figure, like I said, you know, I will be doing reviews of them. I just really like having these three. They're going to be kind of, because I really, really did used to like the uh, classic Spider-Man TV series. So, uh, well, the amazing Spider-Man, actually, not the older one. Uh, so these are going to look really, really awesome together and have more of a kind of TV series look uh, of villains on display with Spider-Man. That's going to be really cool. And then on top of all of that, here we have a big box of turtles. Now, these guys are really, really awesome. Uh, I love the, I think it was 2006 uh, film, and oh, it's just, I've wanted those figures ever since that film came out, and here I have them all. So we have the four turtles in here, I'm not gonna show you all of them. And then I actually have the Night Watcher Raph, so there you have Raph, and he does come with all of his accessories, so he's got his weapons, he's got the extra bit of the bandana that you plug into the back there. And he does have his bike at the bottom of this box. We have all of the uh, the generals in here. We have Max Winters in here, as you can see. They did come packaged a bit better than this, but I took all the packing out and whatnot. And these generals do actually have light-up features, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, having all of these guys is absolutely awesome. Now, I'm going to be doing a video review of literally every single thing that I have showed you, except for the uh, individual loose cards that you can see here. So, obviously, I'm not going to do a review of those, because uh, there's nothing to say about them. But I'm going to do an unboxing of those two uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Legendary Collections so that you can see what I get in the booster packs. So if you are into Yu-Gi-Oh! then go ahead and by all means subscribe and you'll see those. And I will be getting more Legendary Collections and other like uh, booster boxes and stuff and see what we're going to get because I'm really getting back into it.
And also, if you follow me on Twitch, the link is in the description below for that, Home Reno 123, same as my Instagram and Twitter. Uh, you will actually see, uh, you know, when I'm streaming, and I will actually uh, stream Yu-Gi-Oh! from my PS4. So, uh, if you're interested in that, go ahead and let me know, and uh, I'll get streaming on that as soon as possible. For these Turtles videos, basically, what I normally do for Turtles reviews is I do one video for all four Turtles. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. And then I'm also going to do one video for all of the Generals and maybe a separate video for Max Winters, but I might just include him in there. So basically, there's going to be at least two videos for these guys and then one video for every single other thing that you see here. So a lot of the older Marvel Legends, they will just be really quick videos just so that they don't drag on. To have a couple of recent Star Wars Black Series figures, which are kind of expensive uh, you know in this country right now they're like 22 pounds i got these guys for like 18 so four pounds cheaper for every single one of them just for not having the box i don't mind that at all that's pretty good obviously darth maul was uh, quite expensive but you know he is expensive anyway and i get the signed version so that was really awesome but the thing i'm most excited about is those Yu-Gi-Oh cards to be honest i haven't opened new cards since like maybe 2004 or something like that so quite a long time that's like what now 11 years so Really cannot wait to get into those. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you like the best out of this eBay haul. It was pretty big. There's quite a lot. You know, maybe give me your top three of what you want to see. I have got a few other, you know, newer figures that I got to get you guys reviews for. Right after this, I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Mezco Sub-Zero, and then we're going to be doing Scorpion. I've got my Vegito and Gohan and Piccolo uh, SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Z figures to go ahead and review soon also as well as the Transformers Combiner Wars Silver Bolt so that I can finally get my Superion review. And also for my birthday back in July I got the uh, LEGO Star Wars Imperial Shuttle Tidarium which I'm really excited about building, I'll be doing that soon too. And also the Pepicura Part 2 Helmet video is finally coming out next week so stay tuned for that. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Twitch, go ahead and follow the links that are in the description below. It's homerino123 for all three. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.